Have you been watching the advent calendar videos each day? Of course, I love watching them. The videos are teaching me loads about what really happened at Christmas and why it is so special. That's good. We hope to see you again. Keep watching our videos. Bye! Bye. Hi, welcome to our advent calendar here online. When I was a little boy, when we were practicing and rehearsing in school for the Christmas play, the one character that I really wanted to play above all was the innkeeper. I really fancied myself being grumpy saying, no room, no room, no room. Alas, perhaps with my poor acting ability, the teacher recognised that and gave me the role of a shepherd. Every Christmas I was a shepherd. I was a smart shepherd with my mother's best tea towel tied round my head and my brother's dressing gown, which was three sizes too big, wrapped around me. But I did my best. But I still secretly wanted to be the innkeeper. No room. No room, no room. You know, in Luke's Gospel in chapter 2, we're told that Caesar Augustus had issued a decree. And this decree was quite special, that everyone needed to return to the place of birth or where their families originally came from. And so for Joseph, who had pledged to be married to Mary, he went back to Bethlehem. Um, in Judea, um, in the city of David. That's where his family, that's where all his folks were from. And Mary went with him also. And we're told that while they were there, the time came for Mary to give birth to her firstborn. It was a son. And she called him Jesus. And they called him Jesus because this baby Jesus would grow up to be a saviour. He would grow up to die on a cross for your sin and for my sin. And she placed him, wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger. And we're told, Luke tells us, the reason she did that was because there was no room in the inn. And whilst the Bible doesn't ever mention an innkeeper, I suppose that's where we get the thought from, isn't it? That there was no room for them, this little family, with this newborn baby, there was no room for them anywhere in Bethlehem that night. The place was rammed with people. It was crammed with people. And yet the Lord of glory came in such humble and with, poor, uh, with a poor beginning. And so I wonder this Christmas, are we going to make room for Jesus in our family celebrations? Are we going to make room for Jesus in our homes? And more importantly, are you going to make room for Jesus in your heart? You know, we sometimes sing, it's a lovely old carol, Come into my heart, Lord Jesus, there is room in my heart for you. You see, Jesus, only Jesus, is able to save us from our sins. And that's the wonder and the joy of Christmas, that for unto us a child's been born, unto us a son's been given. And this child and this son is our saviour. He's the only saviour. And so this Christmas, make room for Jesus. Invite Jesus. Allow Jesus to be part of your heart, to be part of your home and to be a part of your Christmas. So lift up your voice and sing out his praise, give Christmas, what is the king rejoicing?